Hello, my friends in Christ on this Tuesday morning. Hope to be a little bit of a blessing to you all together as we come under the uh, hearing of God's word today. As the thought for the day goes to Hosea, the book of Hosea, Hosea chapter 4. And as I was reading this chapter of scripture, verse 6 says, My people perish for a lack of knowledge. And if you read Hosea chapter 4, verse 1, it says they're perishing because of a lack of knowledge of God. And I was reading this this morning, it reminded me of America today, where so many people think that they think for themselves, but they really ain't thinking for themselves. There is a college professor years ago who did a survey of American people, and he came to the con conclusion that 85% of American people don't think for themselves. 10% think they think, but they don't. And only 5% of American people truly think for themselves. And it's interesting that George Barner recently did a survey where roughly about 5% of Americans have a biblical worldview. So in other words, only those that truly have a biblical worldview, follow the word of God, have true knowledge. Romans chapter 1 verse 22 reminds us that people professing to be wise, they have become fools. Today in America, we live in a scholastic or educational enlightenment where so many people are going to college, getting degrees, and I have nothing wrong with that. It is a good tool to use to uh, pursue a career, to make a living. But what is being taught in a lot of schools, and as many of you know, I've been working for many years in the public school system, is that children and even college professors are equipped to train our children, whether they're little or when they get older to go to college, to brainwash them. College professors will often tell pastors or churches, go ahead and teach your congregants the Bible, that's great. Once they come to college, they are mine. That's the mindset. Many of them have been trained and equipped to know how to indoctrinate people. During the 20th century, there were philosophers like jo Joseph Goebbels and Saul Alinsky, uh, who used to say, tell a story over and over again on television, and you can brainwash low-informed, ignorant people. And nothing has changed. As Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 tells us, there's nothing new under the sun. Some 80, 90 years later, after the dawn and the advent of television, people today are still brainwashed, unfortunately, by watching TV, commentators, letting other people dictate how they are to believe. And these folks on TV have been trained to play a story over and over again to get people brainwashed. You see, your, your mind is like the hamster on the wheel. It keeps spinning and spinning. And the more and more you start looking at things on TV, it, it's like it registers in your head and you start to think that way. My friends, we are not to think this way. We are to have the knowledge of God. Now, to know God really means to be in an intimate relationship with God. Knowledge is equated with the word sexual intimacy like in genesis chapter 4 verse 1 where it says that adam knew his wife abel uh, adam knew his wife eve and they bore cain and abel some translations will say sex had sexual intimacy with his wife others translations of the bible might say adam knew his wife eve it's basically the same thing in first corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 the Bible tells us that whenever a man joins himself with a woman, say like a prostitute, he becomes one with her. That is why the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, that God created man for woman, that they would leave their husband, they would leave their, their fathers and mother and become one with their flesh. That is how we ought to be, just as a man and a woman, when they get married and they have intimacy, they become one. We too are to become one with God in our knowledge and, and to know God. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 5 tells us that if we do not have knowledge or prudence or uh, wisdom, ask God. Ask the Lord. When you ask God for these things, he will give it to you. Sadly, many Christians, and I've been guilty of this too at times in my Christian walk, instead of going to the Bible for knowledge, 
turn on the TV, listen to what somebody else has to say. Like I said, a lot of children are going to school and they're not learning ABC, one, two, three. They're not learning history. They're not learning math and science. They're being indoctrinated. And it's sad to see it happening. And unfortunately, as the Bible tells us by nature, in Isaiah chapter 53, verse six, we are like sheep that go astray. Human beings are so full of pride. Pride is in all of us by nature. We think we're strong like a lion. We think we're as quick as a gazelle. We think that we're as beautiful and uh, uh, vibrant as an eagle. But that's not what the Bible compares us to by nature. By nature, we're like sheep. We're very, very gullible to follow the dictates of this world, to follow what people have to say. But we are to repent of these things. Acts chapter 17, verse 30 reminds us of this. The days of ignorance are over. The Bible tells us there that God calls us to repent, change your way of thinking. Ask God to change your way of thinking. Repentance is just that. It's a way of, th it's changing the way you think. My friends, I hope today's devotional video will remind us that this knowledge of God only comes through a living relationship with Jesus Christ. Christ said this in his high priestly prayer in John chapter 17, verse 3. Eternal life is this, that they may know the one and true God and Jesus Christ. You can't come to know God on your own, in your own strength. You have to come to him humbly through Christ and him alone. Unfortunately, and I'm again, I bring myself into this equation. There's often times where I want to get to know God my own way, my own strength. Now, submit it to the Lord. We're living in a day where many people are professing to be smart and wise. They know it all. You try talking to people today on the economy or politics or sports or whatever it is. They are, they are always right and you are always wrong. There's no more communication anymore. I remember when I was a kid, Ronald Reagan was the president of the United States and he was a very conservative Republican. And the House representative leader was a Democrat liberal by the name of Thomas Tip O'Neill. And they didn't agree on much, but they came together for the better of the country. They would humble themselves. Today, that's out the door. We are so proud and arrogant. We think we know it all, but we've become like fools. May God have mercy on America. And may we truly find knowledge in knowing God through Christ and by his written word, the Bible. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. You'll see this devotional video today. May they delve into the Word of God. May they dive into the Scriptures and truly get to know knowledge and not their newspapers. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all, my friends.